Hello, welcome. In this video, we're combining these terms to simplify our expression. So when we have a bunch of terms like this and there's lots of minus signs, a really great first step is to rewrite it using addition where possible. So for example, negative 2x, we were to leave that negative in the front. Um, we could write it as plus a negative 2x, but that might be confusing. However, in between this first term, the terms are all the things separated by pluses or minus, and the last term right here, if we rewrite any negative or subtraction as plus a negative, we're less likely, I find, to make mistakes. Right? So, for example, subtracting 3 is the same as adding a negative 3. So subtracting 2x is the same thing as adding negative 2x, and then subtracting uh, 3 is the same as adding a negative 3. Why don't I do that? Well, now, it, once we put those plus signs in, we can kind of group our terms together. I'm going to circle these terms. And I find it's just I'm less likely to miss the negative sign if I write it as plus a negative. It reminds me that those subtraction signs, those negative signs, are grouped with our two x's. The only time I might not see that here is in the front. And if you really wanted to, you could write this as adding a negative 2x. Same idea. So now these are each negative 2x's, and it's all addition now, so we're putting them together. So we're adding two groups of negative x here, another two groups of negative x here, and then another two groups of negative 2x here. And then here we're adding one, two, three groups of negative 3. So it's plus negative 3, plus negative 3, and plus negative 3. I've just used the commutative property here to kind of rearrange everything. So now the addition of these two, four, six groups of negative x is simply negative 6x. And the grouping of these three groups of negative 3 is the same as negative 9. Right? Having three negatives three times makes nine negatives. So the reason I suggest this is because often students will not write the plus a negative. And for example, if I just kind of started to rewrite it, I'm not going to rewrite the whole thing but just the first three terms, if you don't tend to write the plus a negative, what students will just see is, okay, this is 2x, they think, and then they see this negative 2x here, all right, well, that's just zero. For some reason, they often miss, right, you, and you might do the same thing, you miss this negative sign in the front, um, really the subtraction sign is like a negative, and you might miss that, but by writing as plus a negative 2x, you might realize, oh, that, that negative sign is attached to that term, and that is true. All right, thank you.